Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Question. Is anyone fed up with science? Anyone? I mean, I am sick and tired of how, how science cannot seem to make up its mind. You see, when I was in school, they told us that there was this thing, this thing called blood-brain barrier, and that almost nothing can cross it. <laughs> I laugh. <laughs> I laugh because, well, it's probably true that almost nothing can cross it, but I remember that every time that a teacher mentioned it, the Rastafarian in the class would say, except weed and booze, man. <laughs> <laughs> weed and booze. Shh, shh. Kids, don't do drugs. <clears throat> As I was saying, they told us then that, that the blood-brain barrier protects your brain from all kinds of bugs, including bacteria and even corona. By the way, those of you who will be watching this in the next century, corona is a milder form of the plague. Okay? Back to the present. Now, now they say that I have to eat more vegetables, more vegetables so that I can grow some more symbiotic bacteria in my belly. And so that when my belly is overpopulated with bacteria, some of these good symbiotic bacteria, in quotes, will make the decision to emigrate to my brain. And if, only if, if I have more of these good symbiotic bacteria in my brain, they will reduce my chance of getting dementia and other kinds of scary diseases. I mean, it all sounds very serious and confusing, but apparently, apparently it's not confusing at all. And I'll tell you how I discovered how simple it is from these smarty pants that I live with. <laughs> the gist of this story is that I am not as smart as I think I am, but don't worry, I'll explain it slowly. Are you a comic or not? Say something funny. Get on with it. All right, all right, okay. Okay. Hold your horses. This is something serious, mate. Perhaps you need some broccoli. Someone, please, get the rude gentleman some broccoli, please. All right. Everything I have told you so far, I saw it on a YouTube video on my way home from work the other day. So when I got home, the boss sensed my annoyance and asked, What's the matter, honey? <laughs> then I told her what the matter was. By the way, if you're still wondering why my boss is at my home, it's probably because you're single. You see, the boss is that person that you live with. And at the end of every month, they help themselves to half of your paycheck. <laughs> so for all the guys out there who have no boss at home, well, let's just say I envy you. <laughs> Sometimes. <clears throat> anyway, I told the boss why I was annoyed, and she said, uh-huh, uh-huh. Isn't that what I've been trying to tell you all this last year and a half? <laughs> and I told you you need more vegetables on your plate? <laughs> Didn't I tell you your poop was not the right color? My poop? What's wrong with my poop? I told you it's not the right color, she said. So who's right, you or me, who's right? You're always right, honey. I grumbled. <laughs> You're undisputed, honey. So there you go, in your face, single guys. Who's inspecting your crapper after you finish number two, huh? Huh? Nobody. That's who. <laughs> One tiny victory for guys like me. After I lost the argument with the boss, like I always do, I could not stop thinking about the truth. You know, it bothered me. It bothered me because... It turns out that science can also tell how old you are just by looking at your shit. <laughs> and, and the population of good bacteria in your gut determines how young or how old your shit will be every day. And this also determines how much good bacteria will migrate, will migrate to your brain. Hmm. I mean, this implies that you could be a spring chicken 
but your toilet deposits are like those of an old hag. I mean, this is serious stuff. The longer you can keep your shit young, the longer you will live. Imagine if there was a race for the prettiest and youngest poop out there. The vegetarians among us would certainly win, hands down. And maybe, just maybe, the pescatarians would come second. But people like me, hmm, people like me are doomed because we would finish dead last. So I made a decision. I think I will start with two carrots per week. Yes, I think two carrots are good enough. Let's see how quickly I can graduate to broccoli. <laughs>